I'm Ryan Vollum, a principal software engineer here at Microsoft, and I'm joining you from the Redmond garage on Microsoft's campus. Beyond helping developers, we also believe that models like Codex can empower creators. In this prototype, I'm using Codex to turn natural language commands into Babylon.js code. Babylon.js is a 3D renderer that runs in the browser and can be used to build 3D scenes. I'll start simple. I'll ask Codex to make a red cube. And you can see that it wrote a line of code to render this cube, another to add a material, and a third to make that material red. Next, I'll say add teal spheres above and below the cube. And sure enough, Codex created those spheres and positioned them relative to the cube. Next, I'll say make the cube spin. And Codex chose to use JavaScript set interval function to make the cube rotate once every 10 milliseconds, giving the impression of spinning. And finally, I'll say stop it and see if the model can clear that interval. And sure enough, the cube is no longer spinning. So we were able to create and manipulate simple Babylon shapes. But beyond that, Codex can compose Babylon primitives into more abstract objects. Next, I'll say make a chessboard using black and white cubes. And this will require Codex to understand the semantics of a chessboard, that it's an 8 by 8 grid. It'll also have to know where those black and white cubes should go. And sure enough, it used some elegant code here to go ahead and create and render this chessboard into the scene. Let's try one more complex example. I'll start by saying make the background black. And I misspelled background, but the model should read through it. Sure enough, the background is black. And then I'll say create a model of the solar system. And this will require Codex to know the different planets, to know their relative colors, their relative sizes, and position them in order. It'll also have to write quite a bit more code to do this. And sure enough, Codex wrote a ton of code here to create a model of the sun and of nine planets, which is incredibly generous to Pluto. Let's see if we can add rings to Saturn. And the model chose to use a Babylon.js torus primitive to wrap Saturn in rings. And then we'll say scatter a few hundred stars around the scene. Let's see if the model can approximate something that looks like stars. And sure enough, Codex chose to use white spheres scattered randomly around the scene to approximate the look and feel of stars. And we were able to create a model of the solar system using nothing but natural language. All of these capabilities were enabled out of box with Codex. We didn't have to retrain or tune the model. And with capabilities like these, we envision that models like Codex will empower not just developers, but also creators.